This is Night Beat with Susan Kidd, Jim Longworth with the weather, and Charlie Harville with sports. Good evening. Greensboro police had to use a boat to rescue a woman and two children stranded on Industrial Avenue tonight. From the Action Center in Greensboro, this is News 2, number one in the Piedmont. Good evening, I'm Bill Copal. And I'm Susan Kidd. For the second week in a row, a major winter storm has struck North Carolina. WFMY-TV, and now the Piedmont's top-rated newscast, News 2, the 6 o'clock report, with Bill Copal, Lee Kynard, meteorologist Randy Jackson, and Charlie Harville Sports. Good evening. At high noon, the players in a drama called Campaign 86 were in... WFMY-TV, and now the Piedmont's top-rated newscast, News 2 tonight, with Bill Copal, meteorologist Randy Jackson, and Mark Huncannon Sports. Good evening. We've seen it happen before. One by one, newspapers across the country and part of the triad have folded. Live from the Piedmont's number one choice for news, News 2 at 6, with Lee Kiner, Mary Jane McKittrick, meteorologist Randy Jackson, Mike Hogwood with sports, and Bill Copal's Piedmont Journal. Good evening. A young mother in Franklin County is facing murder charges tonight in the... This is WFMY's Eye on the Piedmont. Our folks, good evening and welcome to Eye on the Piedmont, where tonight we'll put our eye on a different kind of liquid asset, one you can make money off of and enjoy with your meals, too. Hunting season has begun. We'll have some bright ideas to keep you safe in the wilderness. And finally, we'll meet Bessemer Elementary's first principal, who paid a return visit today after a 33-year absence. But first tonight, one of the most successful textile companies in the U.S. held its annual stockholders meeting today. WFMY TV, where the news comes first. And now, Bill Copal, Sandra Hughes, Randy Jackson, and Mike Hawkins with the Piedmont's number one news team. This is WFMY TV. News 2 tonight, working for Piedmont people. Good evening. Three teenagers are in jail tonight, charged with shooting a Lexington police officer. This is your News 2 station. From across the Piedmont, this is News 2 at 6. This year's tobacco crop is struggling, but it's not just low prices causing the problem. A tobacco truck runs into a real roadblock along Interstate 40 this afternoon, and a multi-car accident along another stretch of I-40 ties up rush hour traffic for hours. Good evening, I'm Sandra Hughes. And I'm Lee Kynard, and the military is working around the clock. This is your News 2 station. From across the Piedmont, this is News 2 Tonight. From the snow and coal of Lillehammer to the rain and chill of the Piedmont, Nancy Kerrigan's hot, and tickets to her show are a hit. And so is a hometown hit song written by a local woman and sung by Reba McIntyre. Her story from Madison to music stardom. And someone shooting at cars along I-85, but no one's able to catch him. Good evening. Our first story tonight. In now, from your Piedmont coverage team, News 2 at 5. Good afternoon. Welcome to News 2 at 5. I'm Tom McNamara. And I'm Susan McMull. Now, 10 minutes of nonstop news and your first alert forecast from your Piedmont coverage team. This is News 2 at 11. The president has made up his mind that tobacco is a drug. Good evening, I'm Tom McNamara. And I'm Sandra Hughes. Our top story tonight. You're watching News 2 at 11 
with Sandra Hughes and Tom McNamara. Meteorologist Randy Jackson with your first alert forecast. Night team reporters Susan McMullen, Vernon Fraley, and Stephanie Loftus. Mike Hogwood with your latest sports scores and highlights. This is News 2, your Piedmont coverage team. Now, 10 minutes of non-stop news and your first alert forecast from your Piedmont coverage team. This is News 2 at 11. Fire investigators are working to get into the basement of the Phi Gamma Delta fraternity house where five people died this morning in a tragic fire. <laughs> You're watching News 2 at 11 with Cindy Farmer, meteorologist Jed Castles with your first alert forecast, and Sam Crenshaw with your latest sports scores and highlights. And tonight, only on to Cross in Carolina with Arlo Lassen. This is News 2, your Piedmont coverage team. Stephanie Borla, and thanks for joining us on News 2. From all across the Piedmont, you're watching News 2 This Morning with Stephanie Borland. News 2, working for you. And now, News 2 at noon, working for you. From all across the Piedmont, you're watching News 2 at noon with Doug Allred. News 2, working for you. Relief workers put the death... This is News 2 election coverage of Campaign 98. Democratic candidate John Edwards cast his ballot this morning in Raleigh saying he wouldn't change a thing about his campaign. Republican Senator Locke Faircloth spent about 20 minutes in the country. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Frank Fraboni. And I'm Sandra Hughes. From all across the Piedmont, you're watching News 2 at 6 with Lee Kynard and Sandra Hughes. News 2, working for you. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sharon Johnson. And now, News 2 at 11, working for you. January the 18th, 1999, as I you're watching WFMY News 2. Welcome to the Good Morning Show. Morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, May 15th. I'm Robert Marshall. And I'm Kim Jenkins. Here are some of the stories making news at 6 o'clock. This is WFMY News 2 at 11 o'clock. Thousands pack PTI for the great return back home. Good evening. I'm Jayla Anderson. WFMY News 2 at 5 o'clock. The yelling is over. The punny... You're watching WFMY News 2 at 5 o'clock with Sandra Hughes, Kent Bates, and AMS meteorologist Eric Chilton. Your station for dependable local coverage. WFMY News 2. There's a delay in the penalty phase. This is WFMY News 2 at 11 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sandra Hughes. You this is WFMY News 2. I know it's going to be busy. I know I'm going to be running around. And that's something businesses want more of. Answers to tough economic times and fans in the stands equal more money in cash registers. Good evening and thanks for being with us. I'm Justin Quisenberry. From the Triad's first television station to the next level, News 2.0. Serving Greensboro, Winston-Salem, High Point, Burlington, and the Piedmont. The news that matters most. This is WFMY News 2 in HD. Here come the holidays, and here come all those people streaming into your house. This is WFMY News 2 at 11. You know, cooking for Thanksgiving, shopping on Black Friday, traveling, you got... I want you to take a look at this picture outside Fayetteville. This is... Desperate measures for families without food. You're paying twice for backlog problems. And the elementary school shuffle, big changes for poor performance. WFNY News 2 at 11. 
is new and now. You're waking up to the Good Morning Show. Good morning. Thank you for waking up early with us today. I'm Megan Malaris and welcome to the Good Morning Show. It is Tuesday of Thanksgiving week. You're waking up to the Good Morning Show. Good morning to you. 6.30 on Tuesday, November 21st. We're on that home stretch to Thanksgiving. Absolutely. Good afternoon. Thanks for watching WFMY News 2 at noon on your TV and the live stream. WFMY News 2 at 5 starts right now. CBS News cuts ties with anchor Charlie Rose. Right now at 5, new details about sexual misconduct claims against the TV icon. He owns the show. There is no human resources department in the Charlie Rose show. Uh, many of these women said that even if they wanted to file an official complaint, they wouldn't even know who to go to. Coming up, how Rose's co-anchors are holding his feet to the fire. Then we're taking a deeper look at sexual harassment in the workplace, how to spot it and how to report it. And two turkeys escape the Thanksgiving dinner table. Upon being pardoned, Drumstick and his friend Wishbone will live out their days at Gobbler's Rest. Beautiful place. Ahead, President Donald Trump's first poultry pardon at the White House. And what do dogs learn in their sleep? The study giving you a better understanding of how man's best friend thinks and behaves. WFMY News 2 at 5 starts right now. In the last few months, we've seen man after man fall from grace. Powerful men from Hollywood to politics accused of sexual misconduct. Relief for hundreds of homeowners. A court orders the state to pay out hundreds of millions of dollars for land already in its possession. The department took their property and they're owed just compensation. And is your smartphone spying on you? Do you want to know verifies if it can happen and if there's anything you can do to stop it? A simple phrase is gaining attention around the world. How a triad team's Thank You Jesus movement helps people in need. Plus holiday tipping during the season of giving. Do you want to know who should get a tip and how much? WFMY News 2 at 11 starts right now. The North Carolina Department of Transportation ordered to pay potentially hundreds of millions of dollars to homeowners in the triad. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Tracy McCain. Welcome to the Good Morning Show. It is Thursday already. Seven weeks after the Parkland, Florida high school shooting, the debate over guns in America continues. And tonight is your chance to weigh in. Right now at five, leaders in Greensboro gear up to hear your ideas about fighting gun violence. The Trump administration rolls back an Obama era rule to cut back on greenhouse gases. Those standards are inappropriate and should be revised. Ahead, how the change will impact the auto industry. Then lights, camera, action. Hollywood Studios head back to North Carolina. Coming up, the project heading to High Point and the money it will bring to our state. Plus, the boy swept a mile away by rushing water in a sewer pipe lives to tell his story. I was playing and I, I didn't see that it was a little piece of wood. And I stepped on it and I just fell down and I, the current took me. I had the first thing he did when crews pulled him from the pipe. And a truck driver bails on his 18-wheeler when it gets stuck on the tracks at the worst possible moment. WFMY News 2 at 5 starts right now. We begin with breaking news out of Northern California where there are reports of an active shooter at YouTube headquarters. At Thousands are still without power in the triad tonight as crews work to get everyone back online. For you. 